It was during a Thanksgiving service in honor of Bishop Thomas Kogo, who retired as the head of SEK Eldoret Diocese, that controversy over Ocampo's top list raised its head. Eleven members of parliament, mainly from Central and Rift Valley, continued to punch holes on Ocampo's list, claiming it had an ulterior motive. Kwa your list ya Ocampo, it was informed by politics, ambaye tunasema, aistaili ikue pale. Why we are annoyed, kuna watu waliandika uongo. Kuna watu walilipa pesa kusema uongo. Ndipo sisi tunasema, Ocampo akufanya kazi, Ya muhimu alifanya siyasa. Na tukubaliane ya kwamba kumekuwako na makosa hapo beleni. Tumeso sana na kumekuwako na mikogoro. Lakini la muhimu ni kusema heana. Tulikuwa na kapenguri ya six, ndiyo? Sasa tuko na ukampo six. Mwadi alitoa kakapenguri ya six, haka ingia state house. Wala ametoka ukampo six, ndiyo tunajua atakuwa state house. But the head of the Anglican Church of Kenya, Bishop Eliud Wabukala, was quick to remind political leaders that they should take responsibility for taking Kenya to where it stands now. Some people want to say they are clean, others want to say they are not clean. I mean, they point fingers. But let me tell you, brothers and sisters, as Kenyans, as Christians, all of you are at the head. Chepalungu member of parliament Isaac Ruto says he will push to ensure members of parliament pull Kenya out of the ICC before they go on recess. And I want to make it clear that it is possible for Kenya to pull out of the Rome Statute. Last Wednesday, the ICC Chief Prosecutor Luis Moreno Campo released the list of the top six suspects he claims were most responsible for the post-election violence, a move political pundits say could derail the political careers of some leaders. Duncan Hemba, Sunday Live.